<laughs> right. When they came home, guess what happened? Mrs. Johnson said that you were riding on the street and we told you to ride on the sidewalk. And guess what you got coming to you? It was a woman. It wasn't child abuse. I wasn't allowed to call 911. If I call 911 of my parents, it was for the ambulance. For me. It's a different time and place. So what I'm fundamentally saying is to see this gathering of young men come together to seriously address some of the issues that we face is an encouragement that I, quite frankly, unfortunately, have not seen. And it's extremely encouraging to me. And I hope that it happens globally. Because these issues we are facing are global issues. In terms of our industry, um, what can I say? Um, I didn't see us at the Academy Awards uh, for the Golden, Golden Globes. Uh, and it's okay. Because I'm not looking to be saved. I, I, I passed that stage. My father, uh, I, I love quotes, and I'll give you a couple tonight. My father, it's not a quote. When my father bought our house, he looked at my sister and I and he said, do you know why I'm buying this house? We were 10 and 11. He said, for two reasons. One, to put a roof over my family's head. And two, to be able to tell whoever I want to get the hell out of my yard. <laughs> 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 and now, Mr. Smith, may allow your kids to come in his yard and play on his swings. And he may never say it, but in his eyes is this question. Bill, why don't you have your own damn yard? Isn't that a good question? You're a grown ass man. What <laughs> you have your own yard. And all I'm saying is, it's okay to play in Mr. Smith's yard. But you don't own nothing in Mr. Smith's yard. Because yeah. Mr. Smith paid for his yard. He paid for the swings. He paid for the grass that's growing in the yard. The house. He paid for the land that everything is on. You just a uh, visit in Mr. Smith's yard. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice <clears throat> to have a yard? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not trying to be mean, but there must be something that stops us from getting a yard. I wonder what that is. My suggestion is our inability to come together to get it. That's it, um, Say it. It's not that we're not brilliant, talented. We here. We have got money. Collectively. Yes, sir. But we don't focus on it all. Mm -hmm. Our focus is on rims. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rims is not a yacht. <laughs> it looked good. My brother's rims is not a yacht. I think it was DreamWorks that was having a press conference when they first came together. And um, they were hadn't had a press conference for a year, and they were asked why didn't they, they hate the press. And, 
forgot who it was. It's Geffen, perhaps, maybe. Don't quote me, but he said that. No, 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 no. We've been working on our 500-year plan. Before it's a 500-year plan, you don't want to be here for 500 years. If it's a, you don't understand. For the next 500 to 1,000 years, whatever there is a film, piece of music, a new media, you, you could hear the name Spielberg, Geffen, Katzenberg, and Davis. See, they're planning generational unit. They're, you know, they're talking about their great, 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 great,